Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for the last beer of Pumpkin Week, part two. And this is the third one in the Elysian Pumpkin Beer series. This is the Elysian, the Great Pumpkin Imperial Pumpkin Ale, coming at 8% alcohol by volume. This is considered to be one of the first, if not the first, Imperial Pumpkin Ale ever produced. It's basically a big 8% beer that they brew with pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, and all those classic pumpkin spices you've come to know and love, cinnamon, coriander, nutmeg, allspice, all those guys. So they're all in here. Let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give me the final verdict on the Elysian, the Great Pumpkin Ale. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Great Pumpkin, well, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful orange, dark orange, like a golden, hazy orange, um, like a gold color around the curves of the glass, light yellow, can't see anything through it, hazy as hell. There was a nice... Two to three fingers of a really bright white head on this one, sticking around, tight white bubbles on there, lots of really great lacing, definitely some alcohol legs on this one. Yeah, just a really, really enticing looking beer. All right, guys, the aroma on the Great Pumpkin. Yeah, definitely getting that cinnamon right up front, some nutmeg, some allspice in there, kind of an earthy, spicy kind of smell. Nice, sweet, sugary breadiness, a nice caramel, toffee note in there. A little bit of a sweet kind of booziness to it, but yeah, it just smells like your classic Imperial Pumpkin Ale. All right, guys, so the taste on the Great Pumpkin. Right at the front of the tongue, there's a nice pop of sweetness, like a nice, nice caramel, toffee sweetness followed almost immediately by those pumpkin pie spices really kicking in. Big cinnamon, big ginger, big kind of an allspice type of flavor in this one. Middle of the mouth, you get a big, bready, caramely, toasted toffee type of sweetness that blends with that cinnamon at the front of the tongue. I will say for 8%, this actually is pretty boozy. It's a little bit hot on the tongue, a little bit hot on the palate. Sweet aftertaste on this one. Uh, again, more of the aftertaste is kind of a, a dark fruit, a, a slight dark fruit, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, more of that kind of sugary, um, kind of bready sweetness in this one. Big, big mouthfeel on this one from the pumpkin that they're using in the mash itself. There's a touch of nuttiness that's kind of threaded itself throughout all three of these Elysian beers. I'm assuming it's that pumpkin seed. It's a really nice kind of addition. Um, really, really nice stuff. Again, if you kind of like your Southern Tears, your pumpkin and beers like that, this is probably the one that you're wanting to gravitate towards. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Elysian, the Great Pumpkin, Imperial Pumpkin Ale, 8% alcohol by volume. Guys, I'm going to give this one an A-. minus. I think of the three Elysian beers, this is definitely the one I would tend to go towards just because it has that classic kind of pumpkin pie spice, you know, that big kind of Imperial Pumpkin Ale style that I like, big cinnamon, nutmeg, that allspice, big sweet kind of bready malt backbone in this one. And at 8%, you know, definitely has the body to back that up. I will say, I think this is a little bit boozy, um, surprisingly boozy. So, you know, it's not super drinkable, but it's definitely super flavorful. So if you guys like your big Imperial Pumpkin Ales, like your Southern Tier Pumpkin, like I said, definitely check this one out. It's really, really great stuff. And considered to be one of the first, so you can kind of see where those other beers came out of. So pretty cool look at that. So with that said, getting an A- from me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.